Okay, hey there folks. I, uh, I'm going to shoot this video and show the pots that came out of the firing that I just did. And if you've uh, been following along on Facebook or Instagram, then you know that this was a firing where I introduced the soda in a different way this time. Instead of spraying, I used a variation on the Gale Nichols method where I mixed um, soda ash baking soda whiting uh, together. Uh, and then I added that to some wood chips and dumped uh, that combination into the firebox um, on a piece of angle iron. So um, anyway, uh, if you look at the soda and salt firing group on uh, Facebook and search for my name there, you'll find a few posts there uh, that sort of lead up to this video. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you these pots and talk a little bit about what happened. It was um, it was something that I've been wanting to try for a while and I had some success and then I had, um, uh, well really not what would I, I would say um, any sort of failure but more of just sort of a learning uh, experience. Hang on, I gotta shift around here. Okay, and so some of these, or quite a lot of these are gonna get uh, uh, refired because the distribution using just this method alone in my kiln uh, wasn't quite as good as I hoped it would be. So anyhow, um, I'm just going to start over here because these pots here were the ones that were in the front of the kiln at the bottom, at, at the very bottom of the kiln. And um, these pots got the heaviest <clears throat> soda blast and uh, quite a bit of carbon trapping. So they're pretty juicy, um, not quite what I'm used to uh, in my kiln. And the, the slip was a little uh, darker, which was really nice. I really like that. So these pots, they're pretty, they're pretty cool. I'm pretty psyched about some of these. Um, now, these pot, this pot here, and most all these that you're going to see that have this dark color, this is a, a cobalt slip that I've been testing and using some, and they just did not get enough soda. Uh, so the, you can see they're really just kind of bland. They'll get all those almost are going to get refired. Uh, this is more of what that should look like. A little glassy and some orange peel. But they really need to get some soda for that to happen. So this one just happened to be in a good good spot. But um, you'll see quite a few of those and, and, and know that they'll need to get refired. The pots that were um, facing the front of the kiln, they got a pretty good uh, hit of soda, but then on the back sides, uh, it's, a, it's much uh, drier, and the majority of the pots where that was the case, they were very dry, like here on this bowl. You can see this kale and slip. This is my Bauer slip that I use a lot. <clears throat> see, that got nothing, and then here on this side's nice. <clears throat> so I'll show you some of these. So probably out of the 120 pots that were in this kiln, you know, I'm probably going to have maybe 70 or so, maybe that many, that get sort of put back through the kiln. See this cup, it's real dry. This was facing the back. Here's the front. So see that got some soda. And then this side was just none. So for my kiln, my kiln design, um, the spraying method that I normally use seems to, to work better for me and get better distribution. These pots, uh, this method uh, with the solid method would probably work better in a smaller kiln, maybe with uh, burners that are opposed to each other, sort of firing in from the sides or firing in diagonally or from the front and the back. Uh, my burners just come in from the back. And, and so what happened in my kiln was Let's just walk over here, I'll show you. So here's a, see if we can see what's happening here. So so that's just the, the back rank of shelves there. There'd be two more in front of that normally. So my burner's in the back, and so what happened was when I dumped that mixture into the fireboxes, it just sort of got pushed toward the front, and then a lot of it just kind of came through the bottom here, this bottom rank of shelves that, that was here and you know then sort of circulated through and then went out the flue so the bottom really got uh, hammered and then um, the rest of it wasn't quite uh, as well so 
you know, a different kiln design would certainly give you uh, different results. So here we go back to the pots. Um, so I was happy with a lot of these forms. I've got some new teapots and these little uh, oil bottles. So really nice looking pots, but you know, they just didn't get enough soda. So um, some of these are, will be taken into the uh, showroom and are okay. And then many of them will get refired, like this teapot will get refired. And uh, let's see what else. Okay, yeah. So you, you see here, too dry. This is nice here, this is really nice, but too dry on the back side. Okay, and um, there you go. All right. And then let's see, and then these pots on this uh, table, these are all in the back rank of shelves there. And that was the, the really the driest, or, or yeah, pretty much the driest. So you can see that baker there. That's got some real dry area there on the bottom of that. But, but here, this side looks pretty nice. Uh, this side looks nice. So, uh, oh, and this is a great example here. This little double dish. See how dry this is? Just dry, dry. And then this is better. So it's not like a disaster. I will certainly refire, a, you know, almost all these pots, and they'll be. I feel like they'll really come out great out of the next firing. And in the next firing, I'll go back to spraying the soda solution into the kiln, uh, like I have done in the past. So this jar here, see, this is the back side. So it's pretty, pretty flat, pretty boring. And and that that cobalt so it has a little copper not copper, I'm sorry, it has a little bit of chrome in it, and so see it has a little bit of green tinge there, which really looks kind of not great. But now on this side, where it really got hit, it's better. So that'll go back in, get fired again. <laughs> That's sort of the story of this whole uh, situation. So yeah, so you know, you just uh, try something, learn, and go again. And that's the way it goes. But anyway, I just wanted to, uh, th these are uh, oil bottles, they get that little metal spout put in top, so that's what those are. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, show you some of these pots, let you know how it went, if you've been following along in that uh, soda and salt firing group on Facebook, then um, thanks for all the comments and stuff there, it's been good to kind of share this information with you guys and get some feedback. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll do it again soon.